Hey guys, I got some shows coming up. All new material. I'm going to Phoenix, Arizona, Louisville, Kentucky, and Appleton, Wisconsin. It's going to be so much fun and tickets are available right now. So click the link in the description. All right, thanks. Enjoy the video. Folks, I don't know if this is universal. Thank you. That was my impression of a guy at Disneyland. I don't know if this is universal, but I feel like every group of siblings at some point in their lives wanted to start a band together. Right? It wasn't just me and my sisters. Because it's been done successfully many times before. You've got great all-siblings bands like Hanson, the Jonas Brothers, Jackson 5, and then you also have bad ones like AJR. Ah. But it makes sense, right? As a kid, you already spend so much time with your siblings and you understand each other really well. So who better to start a band with if you all like music? And it's not like the band can break up. You guys fucking live in the same house, right? The Jonas Brothers tried it. It didn't work. This is a vivid memory for me for some reason, but there was one weekend where me, my sister, and my half-sister were all visiting our dad. Yeah, that's right. Bro was dealing with two divorces. We were all up there visiting our shared father, and for some reason, we decided to start a pop group called KC3. All our initials were KC, and there were three of us, if you couldn't pick up on that. Also, pop groups having numbers in the name was like really big in the 90s. We never actually wrote any songs or anything, probably because because most pop songs are about being in love and our dad was experiencing two divorces. So tough to find inspo, I guess. But it's a dream many siblings have, I'm sure. Start a group or a band, you know, become rich and famous and slowly start hating each other until the most talented one goes solo or all end up broke because our parents pissed away all our money. It's a dream. And dude, when I was a kid, there was only like one way to become famous. But in the modern age with YouTube and TikTok, there's a plethora of different ways to gain a fan base. So how are modern aspiring sibling stars adapting? Well, to answer that question, we need to travel to Australia to learn about a group of brothers called the Aussie Bro Squad. So right off the bat, their name is missing a number or two, but that's neither here nor there. The Aussie Bro Squad is a group of four brothers from Australia, and I found out about them through this TikTok. So I was really confused by that video at first. So I searched up hashtag Aussie bro squad on TikTok and I fell down quite the rabbit hole or fucking kangaroo hole or whatever. Quite the kangaroo hole of Australian TikTokers talking about the Aussie bro squad. I can only assume TikTok is showing me Australian TikToks because I look like every single fucking Australian dude ever. And the Aussie bro squad is tough to describe. So I feel like we should just watch a short clip from one of their live streams. Hey Daniel. Abby, Abby's in Germany. Whoa. Whoa. I am here. That's so exciting. Dom sent you guys some little TikTok logos and Sienna sent you a bunch of little logos Thank too. You. Thanks, Dom and Sienna. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Cooper sent you guys some stars. Thanks, Thanks Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, seems harmless enough, right? Well, I'm not so sure. And we'll get into the nitty gritty in a second. I'll hit the nitty gritty in a second. I'm gonna be 30 this year. And before we get into the bulk of this video, I just want to say, like, no hate towards these guys at all. They all seem very nice. I'm just making a silly YouTube video, so don't go to their page and spread any negative bullshit. That's not what this is about. Got it? Good. Okay, so the Aussie Bro Squad will go live on TikTok and they'll perform a bunch of, like, choreographed dances to short clips of songs while their mother, that was who you heard in that video, she'll film them and read off the comments in the live stream. Alice said, yeah, you ate. Thank you, Alice. Not all the comments, obviously. Their mom does a pretty good job of filtering the comments live because they frequently get comments like, this is so cringe. Do they have friends? Do they get bullied? Do they suffer bullying? <laughs> Which is a fucking gnarly way to phrase that question, dude. I suffer from chronic bullying. But hey man, good on the mom for filtering out those comments because if she read all of them, holy shit, that would take the wind out of someone's sails real quick. Oh wow, Gooch84 says I've been sober for 10 years. Well, seeing your dancing is making me want to start drinking again. I didn't, I didn't tell you to stop. stop. Oh, Gooch84 says, just downed a bottle of vodka. Cheers, that's terrific, mate. Mom, I think I should stop dancing. Oh, got another comment. He says, just found my car keys. Good luck, everybody else. Ah, oh, cheers. Terrific, mate. That's awesome. Mom, are you even listening to what you're reading? Whoa! 
He says, sorry, in the grand scheme of the things happening on TikTok Live, I feel like this is pretty harmless because TikTok live streams in general are literal fucking brain rot. There's like a billion fucking logos and emojis and numbers dancing around. There's a fucking lion farting out a galaxy or some shit. I swear to God, every time I see a TikTok live stream, I feel like Steve Rogers at the end of Captain America when he wakes up in the future and <laughs> he goes into Times Square and it's bright and loud and confusing. I'm fucking scared. Yazi Bro Squad is relatively tame in terms of, you know, weird TikTok live streams, but I don't know, something about it, it's just, it just rubs me the wrong way. Probably because they're Australian and everything over there is like the wrong way. It's opposite, I guess. And I'm not the only one, okay? There's so many Australian TikTokers making videos about these bros. Or sorry, brars. If you didn't think the Aussie bro squad could get any better, think again. Cause they're fucking synchronized swimmers now. The Aussie bro squad documentary is gonna come out and you're gonna go, I remember where I was. These Aussie bro squads just come across my fucking for you page and I've just found out tonight. Aussie bro squad, this morning when I woke up, they were live dancing. Tonight, I'm going to bed. They're still live dancing. I just don't know what to say. What the fuck is going on? Just the other day I was keeping an eye on their account uh, just see if I could catch a live stream while it was happening and I did not have to wait long they went live at 8 p.m. Eastern and they danced for a little bit and then they ended the live stream we are Aussie Bros. so I was like okay cool they're already out and about they decided to do a quick live stream and that's it totally normal and then 10 minutes later they went live again this time it was just the mom like reading out all the comments while they just like walked around the streets of Australia. Hi, mom, said Cass. I'm more of a fan of mom. Oh, Cass, you're such a sweetheart. And when I was watching this, I assumed this one had to be the last live stream of the day. But then the mom said this. We are going to jump back in our car now and we may head over to the water or we may just go home and set up for the food life because I'm getting hungry. Go home and set up for the food life. I beg your part, the food life? Uh? These kids can't even enjoy a meal with their mom fucking live streaming the whole thing, dude. I already think it's super weird when parents film their kids for content in any sense, so I'm, I'm a little biased, but personally, in my opinion, this seems like a fucking nightmare, dude. Like, this isn't normal or healthy. And again, this is nothing against the Aussie bro squad, okay? They're not really doing anything wrong here. I feel like the mom should know better. She should know better not to fucking live stream every minute of her children's lives to strangers on the internet. The mom also frequently posts like where they're gonna be and when. So potential fans can come and like meet them and be in the live stream. Where in Tassie are we? We're actually in New South Wales at the moment. We're not in Tassie yet. We're not far from that funky palm tree that's up in the air. It's crazy that she doesn't see how that is also super dangerous as well. Gonna be in fucking Brisbane with my four uh, little boys. Come get them. What the fuck? But I digress. So I tuned into the food live stream for a few minutes. And in my head, I was like, well, surely this has to be the last live stream of the day. You know, there's no way they're going to do another one after this, right? I was wrong. You guys recommended that we do um, dessert, live. dessert live. Yeah, so we will do a dessert live for you. Yeah, another separate live for when they eat dessert. What the fuck, dude? I mean, at this point, it was like 11 p.m. and I went to bed. I didn't want to stay up to see them eat dessert. So I can't confirm or deny that it happened, but this is fu it's like way too much, right? You don't have to do a live stream for fucking every single thing they do. Mom, can I talk to you? Absolutely. Jessica just broke up with me. She was my soulmate. Mom, what am I going to do now? I had a whole, we had a whole life planned together. It is. <laughs> she said she fell in love with someone else. <laughs> I've just never been so sad. I feel helpless. How am I supposed to go on without Jessica? <laughs> What do I do, mom? What do I- Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. Mom, are you serious? Are you fucking- Are you live streaming right now? Dude, Jessica's in the chat. She says, this is cringe, lol. Glad oh. I dumped him. Oh, thank you so much, Jessica. Oh, oh she just donated a hot dog. Uh, give her a dance. And look, there's nothing wrong with letting your teenage children have fun and make some content together online. But if that's what they want to do, fucking let them do it on their own. Having the mom there the whole time adds like a really, really weird dynamic to the whole thing. Your four brothers from Australia, we set up, we go live, we perform in all different areas. It kind of makes it seem like she's forcing them to go live all day long. Especially when you factor in that none of these brothers have a personal social media of their own. Like the only videos that they make 
is filmed, edited, and posted by their mother. I don't know, man. It's just really weird. They're getting like donations and stuff too from people. So I hope at the very least, like whatever revenue that generates is getting like placed in like a college fund for these kids or something. That would be, that'd be nice. And also like, how long can this really last? What if the Aussie bro squad actually got like super famous, like fucking like celebrity status? You know, they're performing at the VMAs or something. And while they're doing their friggin' awesome dance moves on stage, the mom is like also up there with them fucking holding a phone and yelling shit at them the whole time. I'm just saying, man, nobody's favorite boy band member is ever the mom. <laughs> They're called the Jonas Brothers, not Jonas Brothers and also Denise. Oh, and also, yeah. dude, I just watched a live stream last night of the Aussie Bro Squad. They were dancing outside. And like, the thing is, even if you liked the Aussie Bro Squad, if you're a genuine fan, you don't even get to fully enjoy them because the mom fucking talks the whole time. Here on TikTok, the massive volume of people who have said, please come to Wollongong over and over on the, all the reels over and over again. One of these days, I want one of the brothers just to fucking snap and be like, Shut the fuck up, mom! That's enough! I'm trying to dance here! There's also another live stream I caught of just the two twins dancing, and I was really confused to where the other brothers were, but then I found out that it was just them because the other two brothers were, you know, young, so they're still in school. Even know. though you've graduated, the we'll just drop you off anyway, okay? Yeah, these dudes are like 18. So I guess that's a no on the college fund. <laughs> they can't even fucking go to college if they wanted to. They're doomed to a life of dancing on TikTok. And you know, not to sound like a boomer, but like, shouldn't these kids have jobs? It's been a while since I've been 18 years old, but I feel like this is the last thing I would want to do if I was 18. Sorry, I'd love to hang out, but I can't. My mom's filming me and my brother's dancing for a live stream. Okay, well, what about when you're done? Done. What is that? What is that word? What does that mean? Well, like when you're done, like when you're finished dancing with your brothers. Well, when I'm finished, I'm probably gonna eat some food and my mom's gonna film that. And then I usually get pretty tired, so I'm gonna go to bed and my mom's probably gonna film that too. Hey man, is everything okay? Do you want me to like send a police officer? Oh, cool. What's a police officer? Is that a new TikTok gift? And amidst my research, and by research, I mean typing Aussie Bro Squad into Google, I found a post in the r slash Aussie TikTok snark subreddit about the Aussie Aussie Bro Squad, and I thought we'd do a quick little browse through it to see what people are saying about these dudes. Aussie Bro Squad, right, let's talk. Who the hell are they? What the hell are they even doing? I don't understand their purpose. Do they take breaks? Like, I seen them live at 7 a.m., goddammit. I seen someone say, give Hillsong vibe. What is their purpose? Like, to book gigs? I came across their live super early the other day, like it must have literally started seconds before because there was less than five viewers and the camera was on one of the boys on his own outside, and he looked so upset and annoyed. Totally out of character to how they usually look. Then the camera ran across the grass and went to the other three happily dancing. It was so weird. It made me uncomfortable to see him like that. I have a feeling she might not have realized she was live at that moment. No one mentioned anything in the live comments, so I'm not sure anyone else noticed. It's a group of boys being exploited by their mom. They seem pretty conservative, probably were homeschooled or attended a conservative church, etc. because they seem really out of touch with their age group. Usually an 18 year old wouldn't be interested in being in mummy's pop group. I would say mom has been wanting them to be famous for many years. It also looks like to me they are copying K-pop styling. Ultimately, I think ABS is a group. Oh, Ozzy Bros. ABS. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, I think ABS is a group of brothers who have been babied by their controlling mother and don't realize how unusual their life is. Now, all of this is just speculation, obviously. And that first post could 100% be a total lie. Like, like who knows, right? But it is nice knowing I'm not the only person who thinks this dynamic is a little off-putting. Wish I could get off-putting. I'd lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> all that stuff. And as strange as all this is, I gotta admit, the acronym for Aussie Bro Squad being ABS, that is a 10,000 IQ play if they're trying to be the next MAGCOM boys. Ah! Also, the 7 a.m. thing is crazy if that's true. Hopping and locking before the fucking sun rises is wild. They heard the term rise and grind and completely misunderstood. Yeah, dude. Rise and grind in me. And again, this is the last thing I would want to do before going to school in the morning, dude. But the mom has a strict schedule, I guess. This is how I imagine the mom wakes up the Aussie bro squad every morning. <laughs> Dance. I just have so many questions, man. Like, where's the dad during all of this? Never see him, dude. Is he the choreographer? Or maybe he's off working fucking four jobs to support the abs? Who knows, dude? Maybe their dad is Jason Nash. That, that would actually make a lot of sense. You know, keep the business in the family. Mirror with the sunglasses, yes! He can never be in their videos because he's too busy stacking bread in his own live streams. Oh! 
Your four brothers from Australia, we set up, we go live, we perform. Another question, are there more, are there any other brothers? Ones that didn't make the cut? Because that's pretty common with famous groups of brothers. The Jonas Brothers have that bonus Jonas they never talk about. The Property Brothers have that emo brother that they never talk about. I wish they would talk about that emo brother though, dude. I'm sorry to get off topic here, but could you imagine a Property Brothers show with an emo Property Brother, like leading it? It's the emo Property Brother! Only on HGTV. Welcome back to Emo Property Brother. Today I have Aaron with me. He wants to buy this fucking house. Fuck! So here's the living room. It's fucking stupid. I don't know why you like it. You know, I actually think it's kind of nice. <laughs> well, you're wrong. It's dumb. That's why the price is at an all-time low. We fall out of hey, why are you even a realtor? You seem, like, really sad. I am sad. I only became a realtor because I listened to Sunny Day Real Estate and I thought this job was just gonna be me listening to their music. Okay, well, whatever, I'll take it, okay? What do you need from me? Well, I'll need from first to last month's rent by Thursday. But it's okay if you're a day late. I won't say anything. Okay, are those actually things you need from me or are you just saying the names of emo bands? Taking back Sunday. Okay. I'm worried about the Aussie Bro Squad though, guys. I really am. And as an honorary Australian man, I have a mullet and a mustache and I drank beer out of a shoe when I was there. Okay, I think I can- I can vouch for that. As an honorary Australian, I feel like I need to step in and save these boys. I need to rescue the Aussie Bro Squad, okay? I think I need to infiltrate the Aussie Bro Squad and rescue them from within. But the Aussie Bro Squad isn't just gonna take some random guy into their group of brothers, right? I have to prove myself. I need to show them that I have what it takes to be a member of the group. So I'm gonna do a TikTok live stream in the same style as theirs to show them I've got what it takes to be a member of ABS. The fifth AB. <laughs> Almost a six pack, dude. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go do the live stream. Chris just joined. Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Monkey Bucket. All right. Do another spin, Kurt. Nice. One more spin. Yeah. Guys, throw some likes in the chat for when Kurt spins. Yeah, give him a smile, Kurt. Give a little heart, maybe. Jump up and down. Yeah. Oh, lots of likes in the chat. Yeah. Guys, stay tuned for later. We're going to have Curtis eating his weight in cereal on the Cereal Live later tonight. When is that? When is that? Oh, we're doing it later, babe. Don't worry. Oh. We're going to do it like around like 10, 11 at night. So you're just going to have to wait till then and... Eight in the morning. It's fine. No, it's okay, guys. Curtis is all right. Do another spin. Do it. Come on. What? We have to go to the bathroom. We're gonna. Have to go to the you're gonna have to wait. Enough. Keep, keep dancing. You're gonna have to wait till later when we go to the bathroom live tonight. Curtis is going to the bathroom after cereal time. At eleven. At eleven. Uh, better be a pee. It's a no. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait till next week, Kurt. That's when the poo live is happening. Curtis is going poo next week. You're gonna have to hold it. Next, do your little poo dance. You're excited to poo next week, Kurt. Wow, some thumbs up in the chat. Some roses for the poo dance. Say, I love you, mummy. Love you, mummy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for signing off. I've, I'm Curtis, and this has been the Curtis, the, the Curtis Bro Squad. Bye guys! Smile Curtis! Bigger! Smile bigger! Smile bigger! <laughs> In conclusion, I don't want to sit here and just, you know, speculate on the inner workings of a family on the other side of the world. That's not what this video is. But I think this is like the opposite way you should be parenting your children. And again, they are in Australia and everything's fucking backwards there. So maybe that's the way that everybody does it. I don't know. In all seriousness, from what I've seen and what thousands of others have seen, from the outside, it seems like another classic case of a parent controlling and overworking their children for likes and attention and money from strangers on the internet. Final thoughts, free my boys, all right? Free abs, <laughs> free abs. I'm gonna go in public and hold a sign that says free abs to confuse the hell out of everybody. Ah! Okay, well, in the words of the Aussie Bro Squad's mother,
time to make some money. Let's cut to a commercial. I've been bamboozled. I recently found out I was being charged every month by a streaming service I haven't used in literal years. I subscribed to watch a season of a show and I guess I just never canceled it. And it's charged me like hundreds of dollars over the years. And this happens all the time. This might be happening to you as well. And today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower bills, and manage your money better. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies recurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you. And if you're like me and hate talking to customer service representatives on the phone, then you're in luck. Because with Rocket Money, you can cancel unwanted subscriptions from within the app. All it takes is a few quick taps. Dude, it's so easy. That is a dream come true. I'm also using Rocket Money to set budgets. With Rocket Money, you can analyze your spending habits and create a custom budget that works with your lifestyle. You can automatically monitor your spending by category and get notifications when you've exceeded your limits. Rocket Money has helped save its customers an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. So if you want to save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today by going to rocketmoney.com slash Curtis or just click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. Again, Again, one more time, that's rocketmoney.com slash Curtis to get started for free. Okay, thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys check them out because it really helps me out when you guys do it. It helps you guys out. Freaking everybody wins, man. Okay, thank you so much. Back to me. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press a like button because believe it or not, one like equals one Aussie bro I will rescue. Leave a comment. Let me know if you want more quick little videos like this. I'm in the middle of making a longer, more uh, complex video, so this was fun to sort of just goof around a little. And also press the subscribe button right now. Do it. As soon as you do, you become a valued citizen of Curtis Town. If you didn't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world. And I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. It's the law. You can check the description for the other stuff I do. My podcast, Instagram. I got shows coming up in Phoenix, Louisville, and Appleton. So I'll see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, that's the video. I would stick around. I'm sorry, but I unfortunately have to go. Uh, my mom is going to film me taking a shit. See ya. Uh.